Hi everyone, here's a really quick video, like an over 30 minute video, crammed into a 6 minute video, so let me try and keep up with all of this. All of that time I was talking about the type of string I'm using, and that's because I'm tidying up my area, and for the life of me, I couldn't find my usual 8 ply acrylic wool that I use for my string dip. Um, so I'm using that one and it is very different and perhaps not so cooperative which you might see further down the track um, okay and I don't know what that string is so before you ask I don't actually know what it is uh, it I found it in my cupboard and there was no actual tag with it to actually say this is blah blah so I don't know um, all right so now I've put down a layer of my spring brand white Lotion acrylic house paint mixed it equal parts with Floetrol then on top I added some creative place paints that was the crimson uh, hookers green dark emerald green and a combination that I love of emerald green and la, 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 cadmium yellow hue together to make lime. So let's put down the first string and see how it goes. Burr. <laughs> I was thinking, no, the string is too fine. There is too much paint on the canvas. So between that combination, it was just nope not working nope not working Ugh. so I decided at this point that I really need to remove the excess paint from the canvas um, and I, I, I still use the same string because I couldn't find anything else so but I was hoping that with the reduced amount of paint on the canvas that the string would be better off now. So, all right. So dipping it back into the cup with my white paint mixture and pulling it off. Now, <clears throat> clearly that worked much better um, with the lesser amount of paint on there. And... But it still was quite wasn't giving me what I was going for. So you're going to see several times where I'm going over the same area and over and over. And then I think I'm happy with it. So I'm moving on to the next one. But then I go back to it. It's like, oh. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's exactly how it felt for me. But that's okay. There are things you learn and things you just keep going with. So what I was trying to do here, that there was as close to my idea as possible. Like, and I don't know if you noticed, but I actually held, <coughs> excuse me, held both ends of the string. And you can see on the other side when I tried to replicate that, I hesitated down near the bottom and you can see when there's a hesitation um, because it's not a fluid there we go see um, beautiful sweep of lines and effects that the string dip technique creates so there we have it so what I was going for was um, creating wings for an angel and so now just putting in the white section <laughs> I love that and I so wish I had a stop there but I didn't so <laughs> let's go with it um, the white section was to be the brightness the halo around her head um, and at this point I kind of felt like it was perhaps because it was all inside 
where her head face would be. I thought, does that is that looking rather empty faced? If that is even like a term. Um, so yeah, that's how it goes. There's a close up. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's all over the place and very rushed but the noise I couldn't do it with all the noise so this is how it turned out you'll see in photos that I've kind of filled in the face area um, I'm not sure if that was the best choice at this time but that's what happened <laughs> so thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it it was a bit crazy but there we go all right take care everybody be kind be creative and be fabulous bye